Hello, I'm Vitaly Glebichkin speaking for Lake Sharonov and in this video tutorial I will edit this photo using CMYK curves and 2D curves in 3D LUT Creator. Let's see what I would like to change. Here we have very warm background and there is a girl illuminated by the window light. Due to the fact that the background color is warm, the skin tone seems slightly purple to us, though the white balance is set correctly. Let's make an experiment. I will select the background and paint it with the channel mixer. I will change the red and blue channels just for demonstration purpose. On the blue background the skin color looks great. Now I turn on black and white to give a rest for my eyes from the previous color temperature. Turn off the blue background and show the original. On this background the skin looks purple. Let's try to do the entire photo warmer. To do this I'll copy photo layer and apply camera raw filter to it. For example like this. So the skin looks more natural but the light gets too flat. So I will not do it and go to 3 lot creator. I open 3D LUT Creator, click Image from PS button and load the photo from Photoshop. To correct the skin tone I like to use CMYK curves. This CMYK curves mode uses the maximum generation of black, so all neutral colors are in the black channel and 3 CMY curves do not affect neutrals. This is very convenient because even if we dramatically change the curves, neutral objects such as eyes and teeth will stay the same. I'd like to make the skin more yellow and less magenta. To do this I bend down the yellow curve. I remind you that at the bottom left we have the maximum amount of paint and at the top there is the minimum. That is, the lower of the curve, the more yellow paint I add. Compare the before and after. Now I'll add more magenta to increase saturation and remove greenish tint. I can also enhance highlights with these curves. I will move the top point to the left to make the colors that are close to neutrals even more neutral. For example like this. Here is the before and after. As the black paint is moved to the separate channel, I can add contrast with it. Like this. This is the before and that is after. Now what I don't like is that the skin goes into greenish yellow on the cheeks in the shadows, although in such light conditions shadows usually get red. CMYK curves don't allow you to selectively adjust the colors and shadows, so I go to the 2D curves tab. In 2D curves on the diagonal axis there are RGB channels. Red channel, blue channel, green channel, red channel, green channel, blue channel here. Brightness changes vertically. At the top there are lights, at the bottom there are darks. Since I want to turn green to the red in the shadows, I will work with this grid. I will move to the lower right the node on the grid which is responsible for the green color in the shadows. There are no such dark green on the photo here, but as a change of one node changes the whole grid, the adjustments I made affect all the colors. Let's find the cheeks color on the grid. It is here. Therefore, I will move a few more nodes to increase the effect. This is the photo without 2D curves and with them. We see that not only the shadows became redder, but the face. I also want to leave lights areas yellow to enhance color contrast. The color contrast I want to create is clearly visible on the wall. In the shadows the color is closer to the red and in the lights it is closer to the yellow. So in order to move the lights on the face to the yellow, I will choose the opposite node on this grid which is responsible for the amount of green in the lights areas. I'll move it up, thus the neutral returned back to place. The shadows became red and the lights remained yellow. I slightly increased the effect in the shadows. For example, like this. Here is without 2D curves and that is with them. The last thing I would like to change is a bluish tint in her hair. To move the blue color to the orange, I will use this grid. 
To do this, I will take the corner where the blue channel is at the maximum and I will move it upper left. We see that with the blue reducing, I increase the contrast on the face. That was the before and after. And here is the original image and after. I've been looking at this picture for a long time. Perhaps my eyes adapted to this color and I don't see the flaws. Therefore, from time to time it is better to look at the black and white version. This can be done by pressing Ctrl 7 or via the menu view show separate channels grayscale. Then I press Ctrl 2 to get back to the original picture and I can look at with the fresh eyes. Now I'm happy with the result, so I click LUT to PS button. The program creates the adjustment layer in Photoshop. What I very like about LUTs, it is that I can continue to retouch photos that are under color correction layer. And at any moment I can turn it off. Those who work with the video can save these LUTs and apply them to the video footage. I don't know any video editor which has CMYK curves. These curves are very convenient for skin tone correction and compared to the masks, they do not create gaps in color gradients. That is, if I open color wheel, I see that there are no visible color transitions. And if I pull the mouse down to reduce the saturation, I still don't see any gaps on the color wheel. It means this LUT is universal and it can be used with other photos without the fear to get a pasteurization in gradients. That's all for now, subscribe to stay tuned, thanks for watching, goodbye.